so welcome to my channel and today's vlog is going to be really fun so we are in key largo right now and i'll be telling you about key largo which is a home of world's second largest inch artificial reefs five ten foot uss grew and john pennington coral reef state park and many more things that you'll be exploring with me that I have reached to John Pennekem Coral Reef Park and now we are entering inside the park which is a Coral Reef State Park in Florida State Park located in Key Largo in Florida and it includes 70 nautical square mile of adjacent Atlantic Ocean water and it was a first underwater park in the United States. The park was added in the National Register of the Historic Places in April 40, 1972 and it's a very very beautiful place so we are just getting inside the coral reef park and it looks like really fun so it's going to show the undersea park with vibrant marine life and on view by snorkeling or glass bottom tour so now we have got inside and we are seeing so many different aquatic lives here and so many different souvenirs so kept so it's a since it's a tropical island so you will see everything related to the sea, sea and the shrimp the the tortoise and all the aquatic animals out there so you can see it's history as well and these are so pretty i really love the aquatic life and i was cherishing each and every moment here in the keys and they are the strings of tropical island and I was really loving each and everything of it. You can see here the people are waiting for the cruise to start and go inside the water and it was really really fun let me tell you and we were just inside the water and it was very far from the mainland and we were going inside and to see the glass bottom boats and I was in all mood of keys and waters and we were in the aquatic life and the theme also suited us so we were in that mode of life and it was really fun the fauna flora and the uh, abound by the Janin and the Key Largo Hammock Botanical Park and the John Panicum Coral Reef so it's, it's really fun so you will see it so in the meantime we're waiting here and soon we're going to start and in the meantime people are chilling with co ring and stuff so uh, let's get started Today. Now, inside the air conditioned sun towards back to the boat, we do have a small snack bar. At this snack bar, we sell some drama meat. Now, we're looking at about one to two foot seeds today. Uh, that is uh, uh, slightly moderate there, not too crazy. Uh, if you're maybe not used to being on a boat, this is your first time, or very prone to being car sick or motion sick, go ahead and take the shrimp meat as soon as you get on the boat, okay? It is a preventative, it is not a cure. It takes about 45 minutes to take it back, okay? Now, on either side of the snack bar, we do have two rooms.
which we went to the windward walls and it was so so pretty you can see the art there in the background they are all real and they are being painted and it was public and people could go there and it was established in 2009 that is uh, 2009 by the legendary place maker and visionary to Tony Goldman as an outdoor museum of international street art since the first year of the program featuring Kenny Straff and Fitura and many more so it was so so pretty and you can see the Goldman property and many more and it was so fun and it was all about the street art the colors the beauties and the wall was full of of pictures and uh, themes and since it was like uh, the evening time we had a great time in the windwall woods and it was all fun party going on there so it was really happening place and i would suggest everybody to go there so you can take a look inside the museum where we went in the windward wall and uh, the pictures from all over had been kept out there and people were having a great time seeing the uh, the the young artist and the pictures of the new time so since it began in 2009 2009 by two collaborating visionary Tony and Goldman and Jeffy and today the Goldman family continues to their vision so it was very beautiful and it was ranked as four out of 21 things to do in Miami so you must definitely go there and get your beautiful beautiful pictures claimed Hashtag we know, Hashtag we know. So after the Windwood Wall, which was ranked as 4 out of 21 things to do in Miami, so we went later to the downtown and things to do in downtown in Miami. So we were just roaming about, we are having a long, great time and we were on a long drive and I really cherished every single moment spent out there. So guys, hope you like my video of Key Largo, Miami downtown, the windward walls and everything. So if you watched my video and if you like it, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also comment and tell me what you liked. Until then, keep watching and bye-bye.